All right, hey guys, Shreve Christian here today. With, we're back with Evangelion 23. Last episode, fucking jam-packed. Very well-written episode. Say thank you for everyone who explained anything that I might have missed. Like I said, the way they did ask is basically character. I like, just explained the reason she, did, she... The whole reason the way she is was all explained in that episode. We're very, like... The way they did the whole, like, doll thing. Um, like, basically, her parents abandoning her. The place of, among the scene, the doll was her. And then she's trying it. Then she tries to murder. She's like, "Fuck it out!" Some fucked up parent. And then we have uh, with the jealousy. Like Miso always caring for Sinji, not even caring for her. Miso with um, the guy that she lo she loved, then she lost to her. And then obviously losing repeatedly. On top of that, that was a lot. Then on top of that, we didn't just have Oscar Spass. We were Adam at the bottom with his legs growing back. Curious what they're going to do there. I'm guessing that's going to what's going to cause the next impact. A lot, there's a lot, a lot happened last episode, and it's very hard to catch all of it. And I'm sure there's plenty more that I didn't totally understand. Hans did point out a thing about the um, Asuka repeatedly saying that it's not the real me. I didn't even. It's cool that they actually did it with the other voice actors. Um, I don't really have too much of an interpretation to, of that. To be fair, I don't know. That's not the real me. Is that because to me maybe it's because she's just got so many facades. She sort of has like a weaker state. I, I just see it as like because it, it's sort of like a different personality. Is rolled into one like she's sort of because to me she's because she's quite unstable as we tell for an episode when it kept saying like that isn't real me it just felt like it was just a, 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 a like facades she puts up speaking back to her yeah I, i've not got too much of an interpretation of it, it is an interest definitely an interesting concept though i love the idea that they use different voice actors so it even reinforces that point of like saying that's not the real me because it's not even a voice actor who's saying it the mom banding her and the stuff on top of that Fantastic episode. I learned a lot about Asuka. I just really well written. Like I say, it was just the hints and the way it was written and stuff. Like, one of the things Hans pointed out that I never even would have thought of was like, one of the reasons that she hates right is because she's that doll looking to her. And then obviously with the thing with her mum with the doll, that's just like, oh, shit, man, that's fucking. Yeah, just sort of that. Like, when you sort of meet someone, you just don't have a, you just have a dislike for them. And just seeing him as a doll and never mind. So if the audio was a bit weaker, guys, uh, a lot to take in. I'm glad I've got you guys to explain it. Like, fuck, like, I would have to re at least rewatch the episode a couple of times before I could, like, catch even half of the, the stuff sometimes. Just, yeah, love, love diving into Asuka's character. The whole fact that I've like, been unneeded is such a big thing for her. And then she puts up that massive pride and ego, which is going to be a downfall. And, um, yeah, no, it was interesting to have. Like I said, interesting to explore character. There's so much you can explore because they led hints about a character, a character being way it. what I like about it is it's been given a hint that she's got massive ego and stuff like that and you just thought oh, why is she being such a bitch why is she being so egotistical all the time and then you get this pass and it sort of makes all those scenes make sense why she would act like that and why she's like that but other than that guys I can't spend too long on discussion because I've got a lot to do today but I hope you guys enjoy the reaction leave a like and subscribe if you do um, the other season of anime along with even getting on let's jump into this one Oh, mate, in his garden. Mate, that's sad. She's just been listening to that repeat. You need to go in there and check on her. I'll kill you. Enter. Ignore it, Sinji. Ah, sometimes I just wish he weren't so passive with things. I feel like such a claustrophobic shot. Oh, she's actually admitting that to someone. Fuck no. Tony did it on purpose, though. <laughs> oh, mate, they're getting mad. No, <laughs> totally doesn't see how he's going to betray. Fucking hell, just how much he finds worth. Uh, worth. Fuck it out, she's completely different. Oh, 
Got a few advice to get there. It's got no one. Apart from probably that other chick that was just seen earlier. No one actually cares about her. And the person who did is probably dead now. And even then, he ignored her quite a lot. And Sinji's a bit too passive. Oh shit. Why is she blushing? Is it like entering her? Fucking hell. It's not a move, is she? Fuck's sake. Mate, is that how much she's deteriorating mind wise? Fucking down to a single digit. Fucking she's really gonna be alright, fuck it out. Oh fuck, that's disgusted. Now finally He cares about her that much, mate. Otherwise if he didn't he wouldn't have even sent him out. Oh shit. That is true. For her, he didn't send it out. And I could just point out, like, he does care because obviously he sent it out. That's just not going to help her even more, for fuck's sake. God, it's just going to get worse for Asuka, isn't it? Fuck it out. That, that doing Ray's voice. Fuck it out. This reminds me of something like Full Metal for Envy. Kill that people thing. <laughs> it's like it's about to have a baby, fuck it up. Well, they, I thought they killed off Ray already. Is that she gonna kill her off? The fuck? Did it just kill her off? Me, are you trying to trigger her? <laughs> Ray free. Ah, so there is three rays. So the first one's dead. Second one dead. So he's gonna make a new one. Why they wouldn't say Ray Free? Hmm. Interesting. Pen Pen's best guy to me. Wait, everyone's going through so many different emotions. Fuck it out. That's not the original. I know I said that, but stay so far away from her. Because it's a different one. Yeah, there we go. That was just all we needed for confirmation. Does that mean she's going to be back at square one personality wise? Yeah, 
Oh, so I'm guessing when she cried before is because of the first child being lonely, a lonely child, maybe? That's why she cried? Because hmm. obviously she's quite reacting to the previous, like, the previous re. Right. Assuming, they're, assuming that they are clones, which I guarantee they must be. There's a fucking lot going on with Nerve, isn't they? Fucking hell. The other failed rays. That's fucking just creepy. They're creepy as shit. Only fucking nice thing you could do. I should be able to live with this all on her, like all these secrets and stuff. Oh, so that's the thing she was looking at in the last episode. Well, she fell for his charm. And he love Re, but never you. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna end there again. These episodes, I gotta say, the last couple. <laughs> One thing that throws you off about this show is that it starts off quite episodic show with like Angel of the Week. Um, with some deep stuff in the background like a lot of it's obviously connecting up to it now which is good um, but it's just like jumping from like quite not I wouldn't say it was simple but like sort of like structured show to like where it just dives into so much in one episode it's just weird as hell like the last four or three episodes have definitely have jumped so much more into characters um, different states of mind just like fucking yeah it's pretty fucked up like I'm not surprised Rhee's a clone. I've been thinking she's a clone for quite a long time. Just throughout the hints they give you from the show, it's pretty damn obvious. Um, but it's definitely interesting how maybe like the, the clones remember, like the clone of Rey with the soul remembers, like because she tears up at the glasses, but then she has no memory of that one. Whereas the second Rey did, and then the second Rey cried to do with loneliness. Whereas I'm guessing that's to do with the first Rey. Um, I'm guessing that's just my what I think. Um, a lot more me so when she goes to hold her hand when she goes to hold Sinji's hand was she going to comfort him by like sleeping with him or was I just thinking too much into that or was that just like she's just going to hold his hand but he doesn't want any female contact um, that's all I could think uh, I don't know That was just, maybe that was just me looking too much into it um, and then yeah then the whole science lady just getting like being fooled like the mother um, losing and we'll get to when she's saying losing to Ray because she's losing to Ray because like uh, Shinji's dad loved, like, loves Ray because it reminds me of his mother, and she was trying to replace or like be be someone in his life, but he could never win to someone who looks like the, it was the original, like the like mum did. Because the mum tried to, because he tried to get over, but she would never love her more. And then she looked at Ray because I don't know. This is quite. If you know what I'm getting at, I'm saying like, um, yeah, she's losing to Ray basically. Um, yeah, not too much. There's so much I could talk about. Well, I, I've got a lot. I love to sit and talk about it, but I do have a lot to do today. I get to talk about it a bit more and just read up your guys' comments. And I always like to tend to rewatch these episodes, just get a bit more of a full process on the episode. Um, but very enjoyable. Love this fact that we're getting down to the truth now. Things are definitely getting a lot more complicated. I'm looking forward to see how this show's going to now hold up like last episode next episode is the last one before I watch the Evil or end on the Evil Gallio movie so I'm really curious how that's going to go and yeah I'm just really curious how the series is going to end I just don't see it ending happily to be honest um, I just love the way it dives into the character state of minds and stuff like that just like 
just different themes. There's not a lot of shows would normally go into this. It definitely gets a story across and point across, and I'm looking forward to see how it goes. Like I said, I know when I first watched the series, I didn't expect it to get so deep. I've got to be honest. I'm looking forward to see how more how it's going to end, and maybe if I ever re- <coughs> if I rewatch the series soon after, I'd be curious to see how much more I'll pick up on. But hey guys, hopefully you don't mind me missing out on some stuff. Like I say, it's quite hard to keep track of all this, especially in a reaction. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope to see you next week. Peace.